okay, here's the thing. You've had a super bad day at work. You get home, you take off your shoes, you hang up your keys, and you start digging into a snack bag while you're figuring out what to eat for dinner because you're stressed out, you're tired, you've had a, a really just hard day, and you're drained, right? You're looking for relief, and we often go find that through food, right? Because food is comforting, it makes us feel better, it feels safe and secure, and it's soothing, right? But you do that time and time again, and all of a sudden you find yourself emotional eating every time there's a trigger that has some of these similar feelings to it, right? And long-term, emotional eating can be really damaging to our health and our weight. So understanding where your emotional eating is coming from, including some of those salt and sugar cravings, is really the key to unlocking how we defeat emotional eating and bring it back into check to support health and not just have it be that emotional blanket when we're needing something. Some of the things that I work with on clients specific to emotional eating include looking at cravings, what time of day, what kind of foods, what's going on in those situations when we're thinking about those kind of foods, and how we actually not tell ourselves no, you can't have that or, you know, and feel bad about having it if you do, but rather building a positive relationship around it and understanding the messaging behind it so that the cravings go away naturally. And when we want, you know, for instance, chips and, and sweets, it's not a punishing act. We can use it to the good and, and feel good about eating it without the guilt, Right. But it takes some time to understand emotional eating and how significantly our emotions are tied to our physical health. Rebuilding that relationship within ourselves is really key to overcoming emotional eating and rebuilding that positive relationship with food. If you're looking for help with this, you can book a consultation with me at dragonspedapothecary.com.